I raced and finished eight Dakars uh, quad bike and uh, two previous ones on uh, side by side. And this year um, we had a, a ladies pink team with, uh, with Annette, a, a bit of a last minute team as my, uh, my co-driver had um, an accident on a motorbike that we were uh, a team uh, for the first time racing together uh, so a lot of a lot of things put together that um, created a, a lot of uh, pressure you know, and pushed us to be really concentrated on everything from the logistics from like we were team managers uh, sometimes mechanics especially uh, Annette uh, data is already um, kind of a series of difficulties from the moment that you decide to race it. Like even before starting, just you decided to race that car, the whole world collapses and everything happens and um, all the problems come and the solutions also. So it's a training of finding solutions before getting into the action. The moment that um, ASO, the Dakar organizers, announced the fact that we're gonna race in Saudi Arabia, uh, it was a surprise and not uh, somehow, because we've been racing for 11, year, 10 years, Sorry, from 2009, which was my first Dakar, basically, uh, in uh, South America. So after a while, you know, you need to find new motivation, new destination. Mm -hmm. new so, okay, Middle East, fine. But Saudi Arabia, it was uh, quite interesting. <laughs> it was really an, um, a conscious decision after, because I think for, for me personally, as a driver, it is very good to see the other side of the car, to get experience in the co on the co-driving side as well, and get just another perspective. And as well, um, you always learn something if you are racing. We 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 are still a, a private team, so we have to take care of many aspects. So it's a storm, in the sense that you have to deal with so many things last moment, and also, you have to calm down your mind to be concentrated and remember that this rally, the Dakar rally, even though we hear, oh, it's not the Dakar enough uh, and other comments, Dakar, I, ha I promise you, I've done 11, it's uh, an extreme race. It's the Everest. Reset the mind so that you are calm in facing the unknown. Um, how, how do you deal with it? Um, I actually love it. <laughs> I, <have to> say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love to not to know what is coming and to react to difficult situations. So that's why I'm, I'm not scared about uh, stuff like this so for me it's really it's, it's always a challenge and i love to to be in the in those situations in those challenges to find solutions for every single problem for every single minute in the, in the race so especially in our kind of races you never know what is coming with all the um, problems you are facing in the race you you cannot plan anything it's not a it's not a circuit racing where you have uh, your mechanics around where you have your hospitality around with everything around quite near um we are in the desert anywhere we have nobody with us so it is just we need to help ourselves if you have a problem 
And um, yes, it's uh, challenging, but it's quite cool. The Terra. It was super, super nice, I have to say. So, um, I think every, or oh, sometimes, Camellia got a wow note in between because it was just so, so amazing. They said, "Look there! Look this mountain! Look there!" Just to to show her how beautiful it is. <laughs> what? Where? What? What? Where? where? <laughs> It was so difficult because we had so long stages this year. So it was clear from the beginning that we would came in the dark nearly every day. Wow. So to drive in the dark, it's very, very difficult and very dangerous because obviously you don't see the same like mm. uh, in daylight. Uh, it slows you down um, mm. sometimes massively. We had some stages in the dark, there were dunes, so really steep dunes. We had a problem with our car as well, so our car stopped in the middle of these dunes and we needed to get pulled out by, by a truck on these dunes. It's, I can tell you in the night, behind the truck, getting pulled out of dunes, they are really high and steep. It's really no joke. The truck category races mixed with the cars. Yes. We are pleased when we start uh, the, 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 the special stage, the day we are all together, cars and trucks and SSVs. So imagine you start in the middle, you have a truck in front and another two that go beep beep behind you. The, the trucks are faster and scary. So you know when it's a car and you know when it's a, a truck behind you. Mm. So when you a truck, you just jump in the ditch. You just go away. <laughs> so, <laughs> so plus this plus this means that if you lose even 15 minutes and 15 minutes there to fix a pump, to change a wheel, at the end of the day, it will get you into the dark. The shades, you know, the, 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 the game of the shades, everything looks like a hole, like a... <laughs> and I have to say that Annette was very good because uh, navigation, yeah, because there is an aspect called navigation in the dark. Hmm? And to do this and to see the track and to see the piste that you have to take at a certain point in the dark. And we didn't have the flashlight of the uh, game. Huh? We just had the, the normal bits. That was a challenge. We are now, actually, we are really nice. Uh, yeah, in a really nice tent because we found some new Saudi friends. <laughs> Lots of friends. <laughs> and we got uh, get some tea and some fire. Hello. Hello. So instead of racing, we are visiting Saudi <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Visit Saudi. <laughs> uh, we ex uh, experience? Or how do you say this? Dakar experience? Uh, yeah, Not yet. Come in our tents and you can repair your car there and we will have some tea and some coffee for you so you don't need to be here in the rain so it was raining on this day and uh, so this was really really nice i have to say so they pulled us in um, in the camp in their camp and our car actually was still outside of the of the tent i asked him if we could pull the car in the tent with a car and he just handed me his key from his police car and said, you drive. <laughs> and this is really something, Camille has a video of it. Uh, this is really something what I 
I was so actually positively shocked <laughs> as you said you drive. I was probably one of the first women they ever drove a police car in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Did you feel actually the breakdown and getting back and knowing that you weren't able to finish in your category? When you start the race, you have a lot of dreams. You are in the competition. You want food. Regardless, ladies, no ladies, when we put our helmets on our heads, we have the same brain. No? We just go, all want to go full gas. But when you get this delay, like the moment, this, the, the epic night that I just described, the race, the actual race for the ranking, it's over. So you have to reset. We had all the, the, the your mind racing our strategy. <coughs> all finished. You have to reset your mind. You push the button. Reset. Survival. So you get into the survival mode. And then the human dimension, which Annette mentioned about the the local people the saudi simple people that we met that they been welcoming us like friends like at the end Woo we made it to the stage 12 in this Dakar 2020 it's the last stage today we are um Unfortunately, not allowed to go over the podium because we are still in the uh, Dakar experience category. But at least I have to tell you, it was really a Dakar experience and we learned a lot. And uh, we are really happy that we can still go to the finish line. I really started praying, you know. <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> said, no, now we took the joke and now we want to go to the finish line. We just want to drive the last days. So, can I help? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> and um, luckily, we were still on the liaison where we were allowed to have service, and our truck was behind us, and they could uh, fix the problem, and we could start. So, and I was so. It was really amazing mm. to finish with all these problems so it was not any more a race against other people it was just a race for us i love competition <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. i love racing. but i have to cope also with this was i kind of hit because we still finished in Dakar, but we did, you know, the the the, the, the days, the, the kilometers, the, the, and a lot of experience. Um, I'm happy that we coped with the survival game. Since the last special stage is Dakar, I already started thinking about. The new car, the next car, the next races, and you know, like you are already an in the future. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Ciao.